Yeah, I was looking at the... <coughs> I was looking at the Wikipedia because I was looking at my list of games, and apparently there's something called uh, Bomberman 64, The Second Attack. What? So there was Bomberman 64, <clears throat> there was this game, which was a platformer, unlike Bomberman 64. And then there's Bomberman 64, The Second Attack. Which was the third Bomberman game on the N64, but a sequel to 64. What the fuck? So this one's just kind of off on its own. Is Bomberman Hero. It's an experimental game. It is. It's like, hey, let's do an experiment while we do traditional Bomberman titles. Cure the drum and bass. Cue it. I have to restart my computer. The display shut down. Oh. Bomberman, okay. Okay. <clears throat> the Adventures of Cute Little Robot Buddy. Oh, do I not have to be focused? Because that's nice. <laughs> Even, right. even the even the Wikipedia article for the game acknowledged. Yeah, those are just Star Wars. <laughs> it's just the, it's a Star Wars platformer. Uh, nobody was able to wait. Oh, we got cutscenes. But what if Jedi used bombs? <laughs> Their solution, everything was just blow it up. Darth explosive. That would make the first episode, like, the first scene of the first episode radically different. Yeah. Well, they did blow up the Death Star. Uh, oh, you came in through the fountain! Oh, yeah, that's right, because we were going through the sewers last time. Oh, his robot buddy's not with him. Nope, he couldn't fit. Hello. What the fuck? The audio mixing in the cutscenes is not great. There's a, I, I noticed a lot of like loud water how, and background how much, noises. How much do you think could it be due to uh, due to the nature of the emulation? I don't think it is because I remember that being the case on the 64 as well. Ah. There's only so much that uh, shitty emulation can do to a game, I guess. I mean, it could have been. I just don't. I, I don't think it is because I remember that in the 64 as well. Oh man. So it doesn't seem like. It seems like they just drop where, where the fuck ever. It's not like they follow you from like far away. Uh, no, they're floating above the level and they, they drop when you pass underneath them. Oh, that's dumb. Is it? Is that, well, bad, is that worse than what, random? I would prefer it to start from like one end and you just have to kind of. You can see it coming. Well, I mean, you can see it by looking above you. Oh. Alright. So. Just stand there and, and attack the air. That's cool. So this is uh, this is Kira's favorite game, right? Uh, oh, cause bombing. Yeah, the <laughs> Kira and Kira and the Hunter Hunter villains, the bombers. Yeah. Do you think the Do you think the Hunter Hunter villains are like a are like a cop, like just copying uh, the fucking uh, Diamond's Unbreakable Kira? Maybe. We talked about them being, uh, like, grown-up versions of the Majora Bombers gone heel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're the Bombers. They lost two of them, and then the rest of them, they, they had to just be like, we gotta, we gotta move past this. Oh, that was quick. Yeah. That was a short fucking level. Holy shit. Most of them aren't too huge. Uh, we did clear out the previous, yeah, we did. Yeah, okay. we did. Just making sure. That, that level fucking sucked. The, the I, sewer level. Yeah, the, the sewer. The pipes. Yeah, this seems like there's more pla actual platforming rather than just... Uh-oh! Ow. Wait! Is that, that's just a fucking, uh... It, it is a bomb chew. It is just literally a bomb chew. Uh-oh. Maybe this came before Majora? I'm not actually sure. Majora was right. towards the very end of the 64's life. Hey, look, I remember to charge my fucking phone. Hey. I think Paper Mario was the very last game... Or one of the very last released on 64. And, uh... That game I didn't even know about. The six Bomberman 64 sequel. 
was also very late. And they didn't print very many, so it's considered one of the rarest games on the console. Bomberman 64 2? Yeah. Huh. Cool, we can play a rare game next time. Well, no, it's not your, you said it wasn't your style of game. No, I didn't like Bomberman 64, because, again, it wasn't a platformer, so... Yeah. One of the rare... There is that... I... We could do a, uh, like, Rayman 2-style one-off if we wanted to just compare them briefly. Sure. The Bomberman 64 versus Bomberman 64 rare one. Well, our versus Bomberman Hero. Yeah. Uh... So... Okay, let me... I'm, what are you looking at? Heroes... So, Heroes was released... Oh, Bomberman Hero? Yeah, Bomberman Hero. 95% of users liked this game, but IGN.com only gave it a 6 out of 10. Oh. Too uh, many platformers on the 64. April well, 30th, 1998. Majora's Mask was released in the year 2000, right? Was it? I, I, Paper Mario was 2001, I know that. Because L was real. Alright, Majora's Mask. 27, 2000. So yeah, this predates bomb, bomb shoes by about two years. Huh. Although, the concept of bomb shoe originated from Ocarina of Time. But not the living version. They're not the living version, so I think it's a it's a, a dread versus a raid redemption kind of thing. Yeah. Where like Judge Dread. Okay, yeah. So there's this uh, there's this movie called Raid Redemption. I honestly think it's a candidate to be like a movie night type thing because it's just it's just completely fucking crazy. Yeah. In terms of just the stunt work they try to get away with. And uh, there's also this other movie called Dread, which is the better Judge Dread movie. And they both have the same general plot of, like, uh, law enforcement people getting trapped in a in an apartment building filled with gangsters. Okay. And they have to fight their way out, except Dread, their version of apartment building is basically, like, a hollowed-out office complex with, like, flats just going up to the skies. Whereas the Raid Redemptions one was just some seedy-looking fucking thing in the, in the ass end of Indonesia. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And apparently... Like, one of them came out first, but the other one was in production longer? So, it's just coincidence that they both share that plot? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they were written at similar times, though. Because that's, that's the very earliest portion. I was entertaining the idea of just, like, a, a series where, uh, where I just compared two movies. Yeah. And I'd, like, well... Welcome to Double Feature, where I fulfill every reviewer's fantasy. Two movies at the same time. Oh, my wife won't, won't let me do that. Because <laughs> that wasn't the only movie where I'm like, I'm like this, the plots are really fucking similar. Because I watched a, in the early uh, version, in like the early days of DVD, my parents were like, hey, let's buy some DVDs we can watch. And they're like, ooh, Ghost Ship. Have you ever seen Ghost Ship? Never heard of it. That's the movie that begins with like with like everybody dancing on this like old uh, like liner, and then and then a, a wire just comes and tears through everybody, and it cuts to several years later where this guy like goes up to the salvage crew, he's like, "Hey, there's this like lost cruise liner just totally in the middle of the sea. We could, you guys could salvage it. We could all make a bunch of money. Yeah. I just get a finder's fee, and I also get to go with you. And then." And it turns out that that's a similar to Event Horizon, where the guy's like, Hey, I'm a, I'm a scientist. There's a ship that was supposed to test hyperdrive that went missing. Yeah, you, you, you salvage crew. You should go find it. All right, I'm coming with you. Yeah. You almost, you almost beefed it there. And it's like, they end up, they both, the ships end up being haunted. And, and both the people who tell them to find the ships end up being, ends up being evil. Yeah. Just like, because the, the one guy ghost ship is like, is like, yeah, I, I, I collect souls. I'm a scavenger like you guys. Oh, hey, cool. I did it! <laughs> and, uh, so... Holy so puberty, he's Batman! Like, so yeah, I send, I, every once in a while, I send a boatload home, and, and management's happy from this. Yeah. He doesn't ever explain who management is. He just says, oh, if you blow up the boat, management won't be pleased. He's just... And then... 
to uh, to the other guy's credit in uh, Event Horizon, he doesn't start off as evil. I guess him just being on the ship and them just being like all creeped out by it offended him enough that he's like, "Fine, I'm taking the ship side." Then he becomes a demon. Oh, like. Like, he, he's, the next time they see him, he's just all covered in blood. He carved out his eyes, and people are like, Uh, dude, you, you know you carved your eyes out, right? He's like, where we're going, we won't need eyes to see. Yeah. God, Event Horizon... I will say Event Horizon's a much better movie than Ghost Ship. Because, uh, Ghost Ship is that early 2000s horror, which is all, like, uh, jump scares and, like, it doesn't have to make sense, it's just a dumb horror movie, haha. Uh -huh. Whereas Event Horizon, they actually tried, and, it's, and it comes off as creepy. They actually had to edit it down from NC-17. Mm. So. Remember there was a Sailor Moon episode where they took over a ghost ship or something? What? Or they, they, they took, like, a ratty old ship and, and made it seem like a luxury cruise liner? That was, like, season one. I think so. That, that, sounds, like, that sounds like a plot of an Ed and Eddie episode. Yeah? You know the one where no, but they, it was far easier for Sailor Moon, because vague villain magic. I did it! I... <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Oh, they got a road named after the princess. Yeah, season one villains were all about... Uh-oh, hold on. Even yeah. the later ones. Oh, mom or Jen. Just the so... bad guys in Sailor Moon have whatever powers are needed for the particular episode. Yeah, it... Say, like, Close we, beam! We say this a lot, but, uh... But, uh... Sailor Moon is not a well-written series. No. At least, uh, at least the anime is. I don't know about the manga. I don't think the, the manga can't be that much better, but it is probably better, at least. Probably. This actually seems easier than the previous level so far. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what are you? You're far away is what you are. I remember one of the really egregious things we always talked about and noticed while watching them is uh, Naruto versus Hunter Hunter. Oh yeah. The Hunter exam versus the tuning exams, the Forest of Death, the tournaments. The immediately following arc where they have to rescue, like, go pursue the, 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 the you know, the edgy character. Yeah, it wasn't immediate for... Yeah, it was pretty much... It was right after... That was the arc immediately after the tournament in both series. The Rescue Sasuke arc and the, uh... The Go... Yeah. The Kalua retrieval Here, Here's arc. the difference between the two, though, is that Kalua and Gon actually seem like fr they're friends. Oh, no question. Actually, actually, you know, they're... I, I'd argue they're closer than friends yeah. sometimes. It's uh, a Hunter Hunter is a boys love series in disguise. It is basically a boys love series. Uh, but with uh, with fucking uh, with fucking Naruto though, Naruto and Sasuke, they don't seem like friends. They're, no, they they're... never act like it. The plot's just like, oh no, they're totally friends. Just we don't show it on camera, but take our word for it. <laughs> yeah, you know that old uh, adage in uh, in in uh, media making, uh, tell don't show. Yeah. The frame rate is just tanking in this hallway. It is. All the you know rotating what? spikes. Oh, they make it easier to perform frame for perfect tricks, though. Yeah. What has this ever been done at GDQ? Army Heroes? Uh, I imagine the auto scroller sections are a real killer. Oh, well, I guess not, though, because they can just. You can't fly speed through them. through them, yeah. Yeah. There is, like, movement. You can speed up and slow down at will. Also, it, it's a matter of, uh, if it's 100%, which I would assume it would be, because there's extra, like, there's an extra boss at the end. Then you'd have to do what I'm doing. Yeah, just, uh, you gotta kill a certain... Make, make sure you get all the points. Well, you can optimize that shit, though. You but can, yeah, find the optimal route through a level like this. All right, Bomberman Hero, leaderboard. So the two valid categories are N64 or Wii Virtual Console. This was on the Virtual Console. It is. This is one of the games that they put on the Virtual Console. Right. So currently, uh, last place is 2 hours and 5 minutes. First place is 42 minutes, 48 seconds. 
for any percent? Uh, yeah, that's Japanese, uh, any percent. Wait, wait a minute, what? I wonder if there's a difference. Uh, okay, so apparently Japanese version is faster. Like that, it moves faster? Uh, I don't know, the average times for Japanese version are, uh, are, that's about, uh, six minutes difference. Seven minutes, actually. Maybe there are, uh, exploits available? Perhaps. Timing begins at new file select and ends at level score result after defeating uh, what I presume is uh, the final boss of the run. What's, his, what's the name? Baluger! Uh, yeah, that's the, the regular final boss. Oh. The non 100% one. Right, US that's so, Vader, not the Emperor. So, uh, I don't know if uh, you believe this, but nobody really runs 100%. Uh, but apparently the U.S. version is an hour slower than the Japanese version of 100%. So there must be some kind of glitch present in the Japanese only. Yeah, some kind of level skip thing, perhaps. Uh, but not very many people run it. Uh, I, it's not only, that huge a game. There's only 17 unique runners that run it, and I think... Hold on. I think this would be doable 100%. It's, the only hitch is levels like this, and then... You can control the speed somewhat, so... It's not totally auto-scroller. Oh, imagine if there was a button in Mario that you could use to speed up and slow down the progression of an auto-scroll level. Oh, man. That's what that's what they use the shoulder buttons for. Yeah. Oh, I want to see... Yeah, this level does not look... I said, oh, yeah, this looks easy, and then, nope, it's actually a hard level. It's these dudes with just the string of bullets in front of them. I can't hit them with bombs because it just hits the bullets instead. Oh, they have a Barberman Hero Discord. Guides. Alright, is there, are there any Bomberman Guides? I have a 80% guide, but it's a work in progress. Sure. Maybe I'm being too anal. Maybe I don't need all these points. I mean, I'm sure I don't. I just don't know how many I need. So, I'm trying to find out what the difference is between the two, but, uh... Cutting room floor? Oh, I, I can try, I can take a look at that. I'll just look up Bomb um, and Hero. I wonder if there are more Bomberman 64 speedruns. I would guess no, but... I imagine that's more puzzle oriented. Uh... Cutting room floor, yeah, I'll have to do that because there's no. That usually lists uh, region differences. What does it list? I wonder if it lists glitches though. I don't know. Shark codes. They just got floating knives to defend the princess. <laughs> defend the princess? I thought they were like they weren't on our side. They were oh, I think this is the this is like the home castle of the princess. Yeah, they just floated it with the enemies you're usually fighting. Well, like this is her castle, and they've now occupied it. So can you not blow those things up? 
the spikes now. Yeah. There are many things Bomberman can blow up, but not those. Not those. So you gotta, you gotta fight the cannon now. Alright. I think you're, I think 5,000 is good enough. I like the... Could be. Me. Hopefully. The only thing I really let up on are the, are the knife enemies. Which would be a pain to try to get. <laughs> Ow. Just, just missiles now. <laughs> I did it! That was way more than enough. Cool. I did it! I did it! Warp room. Uh. Oh, we we going crash bandicoot this shit. Is that where the? Oh, it, tile sets back. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, that's gonna get annoying. Yeah. Uh. Are you so? I'm gonna kill myself. I don't know if I can get points from them or not. If if I like destroy them myself. Where are you? There you are. No, they get set off too early. They're just bob bombs. Yeah, you hit them once and then that's it. Well, we'll find out. I think you got him, maybe. So always that ambiguity before a level ends. It would be nice if, it, if you knew how much you needed for a level. It, it would be just like, need this amount! Well, most levels, that any any level that isn't a uh, vehicle level, like the jetpack ones, you need everything. Like everything, exactly. Yeah. The right amount. They knew they couldn't do that for the moving levels, though. Yeah. It's just... That's what it... I mean, I love a thing where it's like you gotta kill everything and collect everything, but it's just... It's just so... Just whereas uh, other games have, like, the list of the collectibles, this one just tallies in points. Alright. Hey. It, it, you love mazes? Love mazes. <laughs> I don't think I went up here. I feel like the only way we'll be able to really pimp out our channels is if we go on a GDQ. Which means yeah. one of us is going to have to get good at speedrunning. Don't think that's going to happen. What, for you? No, for either of us. You think I'm not good enough to be a speedrunner? Yes. It just requires practice is all. Yeah. I would need to find a game and just play it over and over again. Just Dedicate your entire life to that and nothing else. Eight hours a day, every day. Would it, would it be my entire life? A significant portion of it. Oh yeah, some... Well, it depends on the speed run. You just do, do the Monster Girl Quest one. Win by virtue of being the only runner. <laughs> <laughs> they'll put it, you'll know they'll put it on the awful block. Yeah. Well, then you can talk about the game while you're doing it, though. And people will be like, wait a minute, this game isn't awful. What the? 
Are you in outer space or in the wall dimension? The What's wall going on dimension. Here? Or in the lack of frames dimension. I'm gonna try shutting the server down. Is that... Is, I can't imagine it... No, we're not dropping frames. I can't imagine it's taking that many system resources. This is not running well, though. I, are you sure it's not the original game? No, like, I don't remember performing like this. I'll look up the reviews, see if anybody else mentioned it. Nostalgic review. Okay. So, like someone who didn't play it as a kid? Uh. This level's obnoxious because they put a they put a collecting levels. Get the four things over a bottomless pit. Came off. Yeah? Like the one that controls volume? Yeah. <laughs> All the more reason to do the changeover. Oh, God. I need to go. You need to go somewhere? I need to go, like, tell, ask him, hey, <laughs> what happened? I almost fell. Go tell who. All right here. There we go. I can always set it using uh, using the dashboard. I don't need to use the thing. Or you could swap over to your new phone. I will. Yeah. I just. What's that? You heal from getting from getting bombs now? Uh, no. Oh. They are now time bombs. Oh. Uh, I think. How do I? Oh, it's the L button activates them. Oh, they're. Okay. So that actually can... seems useful. It's not often. They don't use it. They don't incorporate into the levels, really. Okay, where am I going? I can't I'm, see. I'm there going. it is. God. Platforming without a free camp. Oh, it's doable. You're at 3,000, so... Hopefully. Okay, good. I did it! Oh, fuck did I lose my volume button? <laughs> this phone is falling apart, man. Alright. You're fighting Nitrous again! Again! Again, for the first time. For the last time. I want to say there are five planets. Uh. Million, are you alright? I am C-3PO. Aren't you kind of fat to be a stormtrooper? What are you calling fat, lady? How do you know I can bomb your entire I... kingdom? Oh, we we have we have robot human romance. Nitrous is looking for the disc I stole. Yeah, sex robots. This game no, is very Bomberman is the robot. Yeah, I know. You okay. Said... You're a persistent little creature. I'm not letting this girl go. Can't wait till next arc when we have the Nitros Retrieval arc. We'll fight again and- Oh, there's a name for whatever place this is. We just have teleportation technology? <laughs> yep! Okay, lady! I- 
Isn't that the name of the planet that we're- no? Well, it's the name of the, the collectibles, the bombs. Oh, God, I- Yeah, this- this looks like it sucks. No. No. It's not too bad, you just have to aim well. This guy really just does not want to... Yeah, it's probably going to be a bit under. Probably 7,000, 7,500. 7,000. I hope it's not 75. I hope it's not 75 either. 70 would be a much... Oh, oh! Great! Okay! It seems way more forgiving than the last one. <laughs> oh no, I was pushed over my one weakness. Peabot, are you okay? Sorry, Peabot. Or... Hey, Peabot, are you? On the down. clock tower. But oh no, not clock tower. Nani? What? Sorry to God, Peabot, I'm gonna kick your ass. What? Oh come on! It's, <laughs> a, it's a tourist bird. Hey, you think you can help me take a picture, lady? Ah! Killer gate. We gotta launch something else now. It's the copter. So let's stop in the middle of the air. They're all the same sequence. Bomberman copter. Destroy the ten submarines. Oh, sweet. So this is a... You'd call a bombing run? Like a trench run? Yeah. Is this the... Tr no, this is the setup for the trench run uh, uh, later on. Yeah. I don't like the fact that those things have, things have iframes. Yeah. Well, you can't just spit... There's already like, a, a mechanic against spamming bombs because the bombs hit their own explosions. The iframes are kind of unnecessary. I love what the smell of napalm in the morning. What chill bombing music. It smells like victory. So this is just some random fucking canal. I guess. Now in the city of Million or whatever. Also, I just realized something. Yeah. Like, uh, like uh, when you were playing earlier in the level, Bomberman, uh, he, oh, they explode at a certain height. I guess so. Bomberman jumped in the water and he got hurt. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Whereas, but earlier he was able to just swim through just fine. Did he, does he need the part in order to like keep his uh, interior from being flooded? I guess so. He needs the he needs the the jet. I wonder if they expect you to do it perfect here because you can backtrack. Yeah, I think they do. Take it, I take it Mr. Non-Nostalgia was not impressed, given that he took the... made the effort to title his review that. I think he's just, that's just the name of his series, so maybe oh. he's just, uh, he's just cynical in general. I only play games that I did not grow up with. The Bob? Question mark? That other guy. Hidden gem on the N64. This game, hidden gem. Yeah, because it's uh, 
collect all the gems. Surprised nobody really like makes the effort to play through it. God damn it! You just got clipped by a cannon. Yeah. The submarines have to die. Maybe I should just blow up all the things that can kill me and then come back. Could he use what? like a, like a crazy mad scientist to like be the guy who built Bomberman? Yeah, it needs a Doctor Light. It needs a Doctor Light or a Doctor Wily in the role of Doctor Light. I guess this is just the story of uh, of a robot society. Well, no, millions humanoid. Yeah, that's the <laughs> apparently the Bomber Corps. They like like they're, 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 they're all recruited. robots, right? Yeah, maybe. Oh, rescue the princess! Yeah, I'm a robot! How you, how you go up or down? Just uh, it's a, a, B? Hold A to go up, and then you just sink naturally if you're not holding A. Oh, okay. So it's like that, uh, that helicopter flash game. Ah. At least you know there's no collision damage with walls. No. That'd be stupid. Yeah. Oh no, I damaged my bomber blade. <laughs> oh, the explosion sword? They say that, uh... They say that uh, they, they use the explosion sword to, uh... To, to, uh, sunder a mountain in half. It's more like a sand dune. Is that a reference to something? I'm just improvising. Actually, yeah, there was a, there was a, they were talking about a Kenny Omega during a, during an independent match, where he was like wrestling, he's like, I heard he once did a Michinoku driver off of a mountain, and another guy's like, well, it was more like a sand dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about, that's a fun match. Uh... Seven. You missing something? I don't know. I just I would, it was just killing all the enemies, and now I'm going back to look for collectibles. Oh. I wonder what Glover plays like. I've never seen any Glover. footage of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Glover was ran at the latest uh, Summer Games Done Quick. Oh yeah. Uh, so it has fans. Yeah, there there was a crowd, a ravenous crowd that were that were chanting, "Love the glove, love the glove," or yeah. something like that. So there were uh, a lot of platforming mascots at the time of the N64 PS. Yeah, because Mario was selling like it's, Mario it's and the Sonic same reason Mega why Man, everyone. It's the same reason why there were a lot of like Call of Duty knockoffs after Modern Warfare got popular. Yeah. People love to chase fucking trends. It just so happens that this trend required creativity. And some of them were really fucking weird. I was thinking of the, uh, the like, cult ones like Glover and Croc. <laughs> Glover, I, I would argue, would probably be a cult game. Uh, Croc? Mm. You don't think so? Uh, was a Croc terrible? It wasn't that bad. It has fans, so it's, like, still remembered. Uh, I would I'd say it's more remembered than Glover. I'll never forget fucking Glover. Like... At least it wasn't a cute animal, as everyone was doing with their mascots. Yeah, Glove, Glove was much better cute animal. Well, this is a cute robot. Yeah. Although, to be fair, this, is a, this was an existing franchise. 
made to adapt, so it's kind of got an unfair advantage. Yeah. Uh... Was Croc cute? I would argue that Croc was, uh... Designed to be. It was just... It was... Croc sounds like the kind of thing that would have been better as, like, a cute beat-em-up or hack-and-slash or something. I think so? Yeah, because Croc... He's, he's for, he's, that sounds like an Australian. You need to have a hardcore Australian character fighting, like, the angry wildlife. Yeah. Like, a machete. Just chopping up trees and shit. So crocodiles aren't allowed to be cute? Oh, you can still make them cute. You just gotta ha make them have teeth. Toy. Say crocodiles aren't allowed to be cute. Remember Gummy? Yeah. Yeah, he was... As far as I, I have been made aware, the original croc was like a prototype Yoshi game. What? Was it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how accurate that is. It'd be worth looking up. But All I'd right. Heard, I'd heard that there were there were uh, probably at the time of like the Nintendo Sony team up, they were trying to make an original Yoshi plat 3D platformer. Beta. All right. Beta. And then 64. they they fell through and Croc happened instead. That's that's what I understand of it. Well, we have the fucking engine, so. So Croc is just Yoshi's Australian cousin. <laughs> Croc is the guy the Yoshi's call when they really need to have some dirty work done. The bad guy in Croc is basically Satan. <laughs> He's some no, not Satan, basically Satan. He's some red, giant red demon motherfucker. Oh uh, yeah, that's totally a Satan. Uh, yeah, like, a uh, Hank or Dean could look at that and go, Ah, oh, it's a Satan! Like how they call vampires Draculas. Yeah. As if it was like, as if they were a species. I hope Blackulas. Don't you mean African-Americans vampires? No, sometimes they're in London. Uh... Story of Croc. It? Croc Yoshi. Alright. Okay, there is a YouTube video that talks for 10 minutes about the topic. Is there a text article anywhere? I'm, I'm, I'm looking for it. Also, I'm looking at the Croc design again, and yeah, I can see how that could be a Yoshi. Yeah. I mean, his main move is a tail whip, which I wonder if that was to be planned for Yoshi, or if there was some tongue involvement. Croc, yeah. The end game when we pitched to do a 3... The end game when we pitched to do a 3D platform game, the likes which, of which had never been done before. We mocked up a prototype using Yoshi. The world's first 3D platform game was obviously a big risk. Nintendo had never let an outside company use their characters before. And weren't about to either. This is the moment the deal fell apart. We later made that game to Croc Legend of the Goblins for the PlayStation Saturn PC, which became uh, our biggest ever game in terms of sales and also in royalty since we own the IP. For uh, Argonauts? Yeah. It's actually their most successful game, huh? Yeah. Alright, well. And they've done some other stuff, Argonaut, but nothing huge. Well, yeah, they own the IP too, so it's like. Croc not, for Smash! Not doing not doing Yoshi was the best move they ever did. Yeah. Apparently. So I guess that was before Mario 64 they were working on that. Oh. So well, because they said the like the first 3D platforming attempt. You know what? If uh if they released Croc earlier, it would probably be like be better remembered for being yeah. like a trailblazer. Of course Mario 64 probably uh, it, it would it's it it still is, the, I would argue, the better game. Yeah. But... I mean, Croc plays, like, the first attempted 3D platforming. Yeah! I remember when it was, like, you could have two people share the controller. Yeah, novel. That was weird. <laughs> that, was some, that was some weird shit. I don't think it's as bad as you seem to think. It's, it's, yeah. not, it's not good, Well, we'll but... find out when we do Croc that way. Yeah. Well, when you do it that way, that's gonna be a weighted argument. 
Well, yeah, we'll play it and we'll find out which is the better, like, m method. Oh. oh, you got one hit point left. Like, what are some really bad, besides Croft, what are some really bad 3D platformers you can think of? Uh... I'm not gonna say Rayman's bad, it's just hard. Well, that's 2D, but... Yeah. 3D. Rayman 2. Bub I would say... Bubsy? I would say, yeah, Bubsy's Bubsy fuck. 3D fucking sucks. Rayman 2 mostly just felt uninspired to me. I, we didn't really struggle with the controls while we were playing it, right? No, it actually played pretty well. It was like a it, 3D, uh... Uh, they shoot, just They shoot. turned it into a shooter. Yeah. It's about time you showed up, Bomberman! Big Brother Endel's... Wait. Yeah, dude. Endel-sama? Catfish-sama? I knew William Hoss... I held William Hostage so you'd go... I thought it's like... I knew you'd go... Oh, that's not you a... You mean this is a trap? Oh, okay, I'm gonna blow you all up then! Oh, that's not a camera. It's a belly cannon. <laughs> He, he does look like he's just dressed like a tourist. Yeah, though. he's just, I'm a tourist! Yeah. Here, here I come! I guess Bomberman is a good candidate for a 3D character in, in this era, just because his face is just a texture. Yeah. Well, you win. Here I come! Ah! Very easily modeled, that Bomberman. Yeah, he's just... You don't need to do a lot of detail. It's like why Mario is good, because... Well, Mario was a fairly detailed character that didn't fully come across in Mario 64. Have you seen the low-poly Mario model in 64? Low-poly Mario? Yeah, the one they yeah. use at a, at a distance. Because they do that. They turn everything to lower quality the further the camera is away. Yeah, to, to save, save on the... Resources. Low-poly... So he can inflate. <laughs> oh, you see it? Yeah, I see it. That's, uh, that's sure. Vin Vinny calls it's him Morrow. Morrow? <laughs> he looks like if, uh, oh god. Actually, that actually, for being low poly, that looks like, you look like you could just port that shit to DOS and it'd be fine. Yeah. Did you get- oh, did you get the- the max rank? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just hop on down, there's no fall damage. Yeah, no, I'm a robot. Now the princess is on- Canacious God damn star. it! Gotta chase the princess, bro! Why would they not just take her to the Death Star and imprison her there? Why they gotta drag her all over the place? What if she sabotages it? Yeah. There, there, okay, there. we'll put her at her own castle, then she won't want to sabotage it. Sir, she's blown up the left wing. God damn it! <laughs> All right, Canacia! That place is like a- it's a, it's a historical landmark. She'll ne she wouldn't dare cause any damage there. Bonus stage. Why? I don't know. I guess you can recharge your powers this way. I There's guess. no reason for this bonus stage to be here. In there the, really isn't in, in the a game context like this. of the game. Yeah. Oh, you mean like story-wise? Well, just, yeah, story-wise or just in the context of game flow. This this serves no fucking purpose other no. than to just have a. It's very easy to power yourself up in the levels. This this feels vestigial, you know, like this is something. This is part of something else. I don't think you can replay these either. Like, you, do, you get to do it the first time you beat the boss of a world, and then never again if you're going back to complete stuff. Perfect! We don't- you don't get shit! Those points are useless! Oh, off to desert land. It's- it's- it's Tatooine. There's Tatooine. Jabba's palace. Twin suns. Or moons. Oh. Area one. Hades Crater! Hades Crater. Okay. Wow, Bomberman, it sucks here! It's so hot! Good luck! My life meter is getting low. Oh, you can see that? My life meter. 
Also, I looked it up, and apparently Black Bomber is of the Bomber Squad. He's just the loner. Oh, yeah. When your life meter gets low, enter the cooling capsule. Just picturing a Bomber Man uh, stage show in uh, Japan. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> looks to the left, looks to the right, and just solemnly nods. What? It's... What? Dead. 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 Oh, okay. There's a Bomberman stage show in Japan that lasts all of, like, two performances. Because <laughs> they realize it's bad to, to glorify bombs in front of kids. Yeah. Glorify, glorify bombs in front of anything, honestly. Enter the cooling capsule. Well, it's okay. This was a pre-2001 game. Yeah. Oh, wait. That could damage you? I guess so. Or is that just the heat? It's getting to you, finally. No, it was, uh, something I gotta destroy. Oh, yeah. I see it now. Garadin Control Towers. Which can harm you, I guess. Generally, anything that's bombable can harm you, except for boxes. Everything, boxes and ev doors. Everything's got, like... This is why not all enemies should have, uh, contact damage. Because it doesn't make any sense. Yes. As if... Does contact damage in other games make sense? Okay, so... Goombas. Well, Goombas are supposed... They walk into you, at the very least. They don't stand stationary, looking harmless. It's metal walk into volcano. It it's probably hot as shit, Jack. Oh, <laughs> they it makes more sense. He's a robot! He's fine! Yeah. It makes they, more sense than lethal fucking armless Goomba mushrooms. They bite you. Yeah. Or they headbonk you. Headbonking. But they don't. Uh, you, you they walk into you. Yeah, they're, they're, they're trained. They're, they're trained soldiers for, for the Koopa army. I, I think you've got some, some, uh, some double standards here. <laughs> I'm not dissing this game. I'm just saying that... There's that a Goomba is more of a threat than a piece of control tower yeah. that has that, for all I know, doesn't have a personality. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, uh. I, I know that. I was trying to get through so I could get around to the thing. This, this seems like it's gonna be a really just bad mechanic. Gotta get to the cooling capsule. It's actually all right because it's free heals all over the level. Yeah, oh, that's good. Oh, what? What? Your life meter just extended. Oh, did it? Yeah. What did I collect? Ah, uh, you collected 200 crystals. Huh. So 200 crystals that's you uh that's you free life. I guess so. Man, you should have been collecting them this entire time. Like, it not. Oh well, what's done is Maybe done. Maybe just because we got a game over, they reset. Maybe. Well, that's pointless on this level. I mean, it resets your timer. Hey, turtle. Turtle. Looks like a dragon, actually. Dragon turtle. Dragon turtle. Dragon bar. Collect the seven mystical drinks. <laughs> you don't have any wish granted. God. The ultimate cocktail you can grant a wish. Man! Everybody knows your name. <laughs> dragon bar! Dragon bar. Gotta go to that dragon bar! Launch, launch, that would make launch like like a waitress. Launch in that series, launch is just a Kemi. <laughs> she just works there. Chacha Maru. She's, the, she's the cute, older, kind of skimpy, uh, you know, your, bar host. Your health is so much. There you go. Uh, so that so does that mean that universe Bulma is like still a Harris, but uh, but she. Uh oh. Oh, there's one, oh, there's there. one in there. What is that? Does that allow you to phase through walls? Yes, it does. Uh, that, that's Bulma how you can escape. Bulma's inherited one of the legendary drink recipes. Yeah. <laughs> she's just, she's just a, a, a young... Uh, she's she, a mixer in training. 
Yeah, but she, she's she's a heiress, but she actually just wants to mix drinks. And uh, then meets Goku, who recently inherited the the place called the Dragon Bar uh, on the city of Mount P Mount Pauzu. I wasn't actually gonna do anything with it. I just want to be a martial artist. <laughs> Perfect. You can be our bouncer. <laughs> she. You're a bouncer and you own the bar? Yup! <laughs> I just let her run it for me. That's like, uh... That's like our alternate continuity where Bleach is a show about, uh, about cooking. Yeah. Did we talk about that? I don't think we ever did! <laughs> no, I mean you and me. Is that something we... No, a long time ago, right? Where we were joking about how, uh... How, like... <laughs> How both the uh, Me Mexican and Japanese cuisines are based off of like rice. Uh, oh yeah, because uh, we we made a joke about Aizen just wanting to op open a, a Mexican restaurant or something. Yeah, I'm, gonna I'm gonna combine. Jap I'm gonna create a restaurant and combine Japanese and Mexican cooking in ways never thought possible. Because <laughs> because he wants to mix the Japanese Soul Reapers and the Mexican Hollows. And the Kampachi is the butcher. You don't remember this? I don't remember Kenpachi being involved. I just I, I I made a whole like continuity. I guess I guess it wasn't that notable if you don't remember it. I'm not surprised. I, I remember the mixing cooking part. Uh, do you, did you need to hit those? Hit what? I don't think you you killed that one. Oh, I did. Out. Okay. It was an explosion on the opposite side of him that was big enough to kill him. Oh, I got the best. To your explosions. I can be as reckless in bombing things as I want, kids. <laughs> so I've got a vest on. Like always, uh, wear your safety vests. Like when in the fir like first season of South Park, they see as like if there's a volcano, duck and cover. Wasn't there a wasn't there a South Park episode that was banned? Because the moral at the end of the episode was terrorism works. Uh, yeah, so that was South Park uh, 200 90, yeah. and 199, and Matt J. Parker basically said that if they ever did anything like that again, they'd uh, they quit. If or they, they like, like like banned an episode, or yeah, if they censored them because they censored the moral of the episode. Yeah, and. And yeah, it did boil down to, uh, terrorism works. And... I mean, Kyle said that outright. Yeah, presumably they said it because that was the revelation that Matt Stone and Trey Parker had. Or, unless that was supposed to be satire and that wasn't the actual... Very splooshy lava. Yeah. It's that, uh, it's that tang again. The lava that seemed the less, the least like lava was fucking Super Mario Sunshine. Did it? Yeah, cause it, because it had the, it, ha it was just recolored water. Oh, was it? Nice and very generous with the cooling pods. Yeah. I feel like I maybe missed something. I'm just backtracking a little bit. Like, there was one of those, uh, golden things that didn't open until now. Guess not. We're good. I did it! Had to drain the lava so that you could get through. You're blowing up the dams that's holding the magma back! Krista hole. Alright, so it seems like... Now the polar opposite. It's cool in here. Okay. Uh, is that fog? It's ice. It said crystal, not like ice. Oh, uh, it's just it's ice. It. Oh. Uh. People use the word the terms for crystal to, to, to like describe ice all the time. But. Why would there be ice in a volcano? I don't know. Ask Mario. 
Was that a thing? Mario had there was ice in. Yeah, we just had like there was an icy hot galaxy and galaxy. Well, they that's like to Super Mario. That's all the Super time. Mario Galaxy. And Super Mario Galaxy is weird even for Super Mario standards. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Go away! You got him. Cyclops birds leave this place. <laughs> Got him! You got him. Yeah, you, you do it! You do it! You're sure showing me, guy. Groucho Slime. these enemies have names if they're consistent with other Bomberman enemies. Uh, there were enemies in the original like, 2D Bomberman. Yeah, games, right? dragons and stuff, because he was... Bomberman was trying to escape a dungeon. Oh. So they were positing that he was like, a knight or something? No, he's just still a robot. Oh. They just threw a bunch of stuff at a wall, and that, it, that, this is what came out. Have you seen the, uh... What's the what's the original like NES game cover for Bomberman look like? Uh, or whatever it was originally on, it was on something else, right? Uh, I think that's wait. one of those ones like Mega Man that they took a lot of crazy liberties with the the cover design. Uh, the U.S. cover, probably. Yeah. <laughs> you see it? Uh. Is it just like a grown ass dude throwing bombs like an action hero? Uh. <laughs> they look like ninjas, kind of. Yeah, kinda. This is the Tover Graphic 16 one, though. It's like, uh, they're trying to make these very simple designs into, like, Doom Warriors or something. Yeah. They look like villains! These look not the kind of people you want to play as! It's okay, he can survive in lava briefly. He doesn't die immediately like humans do. Was it never on the NES? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Here's the... <laughs> What's that? Wow, this looks like a ripoff! Yeah, that's just Metroid. That's just Sam... That's just, uh... John Metroid. John Metroid. Konami currently owns the rights to uh, Bomberman, so yeah. uh, good luck, good luck with that, Konami. I mean, they've been very generous with Smash Brothers. Like, fuck it, we're not using our properties. You wanna, you wanna make the game and make us money? Great. Wait, we're. Oh, you completed Crystal Cavern. Ah, uh, yes. There was another exit I needed to get in this one. That's the one. Did you not collect everything the first time? I didn't get both exits. Oh yeah, there, well, there, there are two is. exits to this level. I can't go through it. There's a yellow wall there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, it's open. Like that just seems like desert. That's why I was confused. Emerald tube. Emerald tube. Oh. What? We going jet? I'm gonna guess slider. Slide. To bomber toboggan. Radical. We. Uh -oh. oh, now we crash Bandicoot. Uh oh. This this seems a bit uh unfair. You're supposed to get all the items this way? No, not all of them. I should have got that rainbow crystal though, because that's like the most valuable thing. Here, well, it seems like the kind of thing where you're gonna need. There can are plenty use, of them. Can you not use your bombs? I don't think you can use bombs in these levels. The game's over. Oh, Bomberman. 
That's that's dumb. I guess. So the B button does the spin, as Bomberman is known for doing. Well, you got four life now. Better to love than to have lost. Damn it. I will say the the sliding does not look fun. No, it's a lot of slip sliding around. Yeah, and you lose your momentum. And you get hit. Yeah, this. Uh, yeah. This... I'm just trying to be sure I get most or all of the rainbow ones because that's going to be the bulk of the points. God, they're just on you. Fuck off. This this looks literally impossible. Yeah, it did definitely did not perform like this on the 64. The, the game so the emulator is struggling quite a bit. Uh oh. Bomber Toboggan, go! Is there... What other, uh, 64 ones are there? Bomberman games? No, 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 the emulators. Ah, uh, I didn't look into BizHawk, which is that one that can apparently do a bunch of different types of games. Uh, besides Project 64, I don't know any besides that in BizHawk. We might... To start using BizHawk. I'm gonna look at it. You are also welcome to try I installing will... and trying things on this computer. I will. I said we, we, I, I meant, I, I'll. Shit, I need to. God damn it! Well, I am now dead because of that hit. No, there's not a pit there. Fuck off! Fucking toboggan! You know, toboggan is a sled. This is some. This is some bullshit. need to get an uh, app emulator or locale emulator on this computer. Yeah. So we can do uh, and artificial again. Yeah. Got some other games we were talking about for uh, After Dark that we can do when we get around to recording. Yeah. If I get those three, I think that's the bulk of it. Probably. Hopefully. You kept talking about a game called House Party. Yeah, that's one one of them that we'll uh, we'll take a look at. Probably the most overplayed sexual game, though. House Party. Yeah. It's so overplayed. It, it, I've never heard of it. It was a lot. A lot of YouTube channels were doing it for a little bit. I Achievement Hunter did videos in it. Of House Party. Yeah. They were they were like hesitant to do so, but they did. Yes. <laughs> I. Oh, cool. Like, this isn't the sort of game we usually play. But it wasn't it, says, it wasn't hentai, so therefore it wasn't weird. As long as it's not anime, you're fine. So it says Mike... says Michael, uh... St what was that? Apes block? What? Uncraft... Uncraft, uncraft my me? world? Uncraft me? Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Fucking Uncraft me, Michael. What? Oh. I'm missing dialogue. Don't animate titties. That's all it takes, huh? I tripped Just him. a giant robot spider sneaking up from behind. As one does. What the? Bomberman, you jerk! Okay. Bullban. What? Yeah, it's a good thing Bomberman has infinite bombs. Yeah. Oh no! He's got, I'm trapped! He's got bomb space. Explos explosion space. 
He gets them from, uh... He gets them from Adok, the world of bombs. Oh look, a convenient opening. Giant hand enemy! Video we'll game staple. We will fight in, in a ad hoc. Okay, you're on! Don't underestimate me, coward! I'd kind of like it better if Bomberman didn't talk. He just, like, nodded to everything. It would- it makes it better, just... Okay. But no, he says, like, stuff like, Oh no, I'm trapped! When he's trying to be heroic. Like, don't worry, Million, I'll save you! That's- oh. that's when it falls short. I'll save the princess! It'll be fun! I'd, oh, I'd feel more up. confident if you didn't talk, Bomberman. Why, why not? What's, what's wrong with my voice? Does my manliness excite you? Bomber... Man? Yeah, I'm a man! I had my, uh, I had my coming of age on, on outset and everything! I be a fight member of my crew. I get all the bums I want from Bomberman. He's uh, just- Hey, it's Clo you're being attacked by Glover! Yeah. He's pissed <laughs> off that, his, that we're not playing his game. Maybe some other day we'll throw one Glover. off of fucking Glover. I've, I've never played Glover. You've at least seen it played, though, I've right? seen it played. It looks interesting! Uh... Not awesome. necessarily good? I mean... I haven't played it myself, so I can't tell. Uh, it involves a lot of, like, escorting a ball to, uh... You're in Egypt. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of hands and balls, huh? Planet Egypt. Just hands on balls. Space Egypt. There's, like, there's, like, different forms you, you could take. You could be the ball... You could be just dancing on top of the ball. You could be dribbling the ball. You gotta get it into the hole. And then once you get it into the hole... Oh, my. Uh, you, you complete the level? I think how it works. I think sometimes you need the ball to, like, beat bosses. Uh, I don't know. I was off... I was I was kind of off put, put by a bunch of people, uh, uh, chanting, like, Love the glove! Love yeah. the glove! Yu-Gi-Oh! Except everyone is aliens. <laughs> From Space Egypt. Oh, man. It... So does that make you be a space like a? S He's a space pharaoh. Oh my gosh, that makes it even hotter for Taya. Um, uh, you know what? You get you get would be like if fucking Riddler was a good guy, yeah, or something like that. Some game masters like would have been cool. Instead, it's just all the card game. Yeah, that's basically what they were building up for in season zero. He was like he was like some weird Batman figure. It was gonna be all these different games. And if you fuck up, he, he sends your soul. He doesn't send your soul to the Shadow Realm. He, he just sets just, you on fucking fire. He sets you on fire. <laughs> That'll always be my favorite part, like part of the manga. It was just the fact that that he's just like he just sets a he just sets a dude on fire. Well, okay, the story is that like like he's he's like telling Pete like. Uh, it's like saying, hey guy, you should play a game with me. Here's how this game works. Uh, we'll only use one finger. And, and uh... And, and we'll try to, uh, kill each other w by doing this. And the guy's holding a gun. Yeah, he's holding a gun. He's like, yeah, well, I'll use my trigger finger. He's like, and he's like, yeah, I'll use my thumb. By the way, you're, you're pouring this, uh, expensive booze, right? How about you enjoy a nice cigarette to go along with it? He's like, <laughs> Sure, so he lights it with like a zippo, right? He sets the zippo on the dude's like gun hand because he re because Yugi looked and he realized you've been pouring that highly flammable booze for a while. So if you shoot, you'll knock the lighter off. He's like, What? Well, no, please don't. So he takes Taya and he just walks away. Yeah, just like, Yeah, later. And then he eventually shakes so hard, he it just falls and sets him on fire. Wasn't it in the in the anime? He was like, "Well, this is stupid. He's I'll like, just use my wait. other hand." He's like, well, "Wait a minute! I, I I could just use my hand. I could just drop the bottle, use my hand to grab the lighter." But then Yugi comes up. He's like, "Oh no! You've broken the rules!" And so he so he makes it think he's set on fire. Yeah. 
But it's okay, he only thinks it. Yeah. He's still alive, he's just- he's just permanently insane now. Then after Yugi, he goes, I did it! <laughs> Poor little Yugi. Oh god. He wanted Taya, and Taya's only interested in the old in the big Yugi. Fuck! She's, she likes the bad boys, she likes the people that- that are willing to set people on fire for her. Yeah. Like, I imagine that on some level she thinks that's romantic, just like, you set a criminal on fire for me? Jeez. Oh, you sweet psychopath. The best psychopath. Is that sorry, what... no, they don't date in English. They just have, like, friendship meetings. It's because it's cause nobody's allowed to fuck. That's because nobody's allowed to fuck in America. Yeah, just stand there. That's fine. Fine by me. I feel like, uh, I, I feel like, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is also secretly a boy's love series. But, Why? well, not in terms of, like, design, but just, but just in terms of how everything comes off in the American version. It's more of a boy's love series in the American version than in the Japanese version, just I will say. Just because it's always spouting about friendship? It's always spouting about friendship, and it seems like he cares, like, more emphasis is focused on the, uh, on the Yu-Gi-Joey. Like, relationship? I guess. Well, that's just because they're the two- the only two prominent characters. Yeah. The other ones are just, like, commentators. It- It's just- That's another series that- I would say doesn't know how to use its characters. Is Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. Well, to a lesser extent, it knows what the characters are, at least. But more, more so in season zero, they they lost some of their personality in the anime, and then they lost more in the English translation. Yeah, they're just blank slates. They're I, just I, there to be there. Just have your fucking guy be a be a, like, like you know what? I I was think compare, comparing uh, I was comparing uh Yu Gi Oh Yu Gi season zero to uh. Like, his, his, his adult self was like, uh, fucking, uh, what was his name? Oh, yeah, Al Alexander Hell from, uh, Seiko no Quasar. Yeah. Just in terms of how he sounded and stuff. But, also, Yuki was really childlike in Season Zero. He was like... I mean, he was in the, in the anime as well, in the later anime as well, in well, Japanese. To a okay, yeah, and... <laughs> Keep in mind we watched season zero in Japanese and then the rest of the series in English. With, uh, with Dan Green putting on his, uh, his... Oh boy, guys! Oh boy! Like, like how... No, my Yugi's like, Oh boy, let's go play some dun Some of my dungeon dice monsters where... Or his partner's like, Hey guys! I'm gonna bomb some places now! Bomb, bombs of ancient Egyptian ruins. Not like anybody wants to appreciate them later. No. Destroy some priceless fucking artifacts. Indiana Jones, like, looks at this asshole and is just like, just just so you know, I, I, I am going to enjoy this. Just takes out a... That attic bomb belongs in a museum. Oh, you need to time it just right. Bomberman creepypasta. Just, you know, sit standing here jiving. I did it! I did it! Oh, that's, that's the entrance to Death Garden. Yep. That's okay. The levels aren't bad as long as you're not collecting everything. That's usually the case in games like this, is that the, the tedium comes from collecting everything. So... I still need to look up the differences between... Oh, the cutting room? Yeah, well, I looked at cutting room, it just lists codes and shit. Codes? Yeah, like, uh, Game Shark codes access the... 
uh, secret stuff. It's not usually what the cutting room floor does. Because that stuff was cut, you know, the, the, uh, what was it? Oh, shit, I forget what it was called. Anyway. Version. Cue the dissonant club music. Cutting room floor has actually. Come on. Oh boy! A lot was changed when Bomberman Hero was brought overseas. Oh, was it? Uh, the international version is significantly more difficult. Really? Many enemies have more health. More points are typically required per stage to unlock uh, what I presume is the final level. And. Items are rearranged in ways that frequently put Bomberman in harm's way. Fortunately, the Star Wars story was left intact. <laughs> That's so, it's entirely opposite how it usually goes. <laughs> oh like, man, no! Like usually, it's way harder in the Japanese version, right? Yeah, I guess. I guess they were like, "Fuck it." Time wizard. Time magic. You can only fire missiles while going backwards? That seems like a flawed design. <sighs> it's the recoil. Also, your uh, center yeah. is left completely open. Oh, you don't have to time it. I thought you would have to time it or something. Oh, like... what if they lost it only as, as much health as their uh, hand position? Oh. That, that'd be an interesting kind of enemy. It seems like that's oh, they going home. on. No, it's not. They all take three hits. Ah. Cool hall of eyes, by the way. S Bomberman creepypasta go. <laughs> they all take place on the moon. Yes, really. Oh, all right. right. Gameplay did. Upon exiting a stage in the international version, the gems, firepower, bomb count, and HP are reset to what they were upon entering. Resetting the console in the international version clears the gems, firepower, bombs... Bomb count and HP values. Additionally, getting a game over in the international version resets the max HP to four. The HP remains the same in Japanese. Oh, this game! This game is fuck. Wow. I mean, it's hard, but it's not impossibly hard. So in Japan, there's progression. They removed progression, made everything more hard, and said, "Hey, here we go." That explains why people are able. So there's ten minutes of difficulty in uh, in Bomberman Hero added to the JP. That explains why the why the JP version so much shorter it's because it's so like easier because it's easier. All of Bomberman's voice clips were dubbed into English. Or, I assume the Japanese also sounded that way, though. Well, let's... I, I, I see them. Let's find out. Yeah, tell! That really sounds like it could have been English. Yeah. So those are the Eng English ones. There you go. That's the track we're looking for. Here you go. Yeah, that! Even cutesier. He sounds like Yugi. You're, you're right. Bomber change. <laughs> okay, that one sounds more masculine. Sounds like, uh... Sounds like the dog from Powerpuff Z. Oh, uh... The Powerpuff Girls eat that one? Yeah. That one? Alright. <laughs> I can, I can hear it. The, not the English version where they made it more masculine. <laughs> I mean, it's, just, it's a similar voice in both cases. Remember Descendants of Darkness? 
Ah, uh, was that the one with the, the cutesy... And they came up with an old bear voice? Yeah. It was great! <laughs> much, I... much like Luna the cat, actually. Yeah. They made her sound like a mature lady. <laughs> you know what, they made, it made it sound like, like, a, like British old woman. I would have loved just like a Roshi old woman, just it's like, Listen here! Listen here, sonny! Or lady? Yeah. Genkai. Oh, yeah. and Linda Young voicing Luna the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Quit your whining, you're a sailor warrior! <laughs> that bit, then Artemis... Artemis can be Roshi. Oh, Genkai, Ro oh, Genkai oh, Roshi is a team-up that needed to happen, but never did. Oh, man. For a meet-up. Oh. <laughs> I feel like- I feel like with Big Kairos, you would finally find love. Yeah? Like- Wait, you can turn into- you can be young again at will? It's- <laughs> I think she would appreciate the attention, too. Oh, uh, anyway. Roshi Tsunade. <laughs> Roshi's a little <laughs> bit older than Tsunade. Tsunade- how old is Tsunade? Like, like 50? Yeah. And then, and then he's like twice her age. He's, he's, <laughs> he's like, like several hundred years old. Oh yeah, because he he drank the the fountain of youth. Yeah. He needs to do it again, honestly. Maybe he does every so often. So, I'm seven hundred years old. Several. <laughs> How old is Master Roshi? Oh wow, there's significantly more points. Yeah. This is the harder version. Death Garden. Death Guard with oh, the yeah. bimbo bots. <laughs> they look like they would be dancing in like a go-go bar in Samurai Jack. Yeah. Those enemies. <laughs> just just some just some unsexy looking robots just doing pole dances. Jostling. <laughs> and Samurai Jack's like uh... They got away with some surprising stuff in Samurai Jack. Yeah, before- Chiefly in the first episode, there was a a, a- a- like a girl bar, and also fucking crucifixion. It was great, like- <laughs> Hey, just in case you have any doubts about what this series is gonna be, it's gonna- it's gonna be whimsically dark. I would describe the- 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 the, the main seasons of it as being whimsically dark. Yeah, as opposed to just straight up dark. Yeah, it's, season five was straight up dark. The sass shall rise again. <laughs> God damn it! I, I actually, when we when we watched that part in uh, Sam Rage, like, I physically just, I just immediately yelled out, "Don't say that!" Just <laughs> that is an odd symbol for the time bombs. Yeah, heart. Is that a JoJo reference? So they still blow up on contact, but you can, uh, set them. And forget them! Set it, and forget it! We got a winner. We got a winner. Juice by Bomber, juice by... I'm just, I'm just, uh... I'm just a reference machine, baby. I just keep making reference. You think that you think that they make the flowers damaging, but no, they just have hidden enemies. The like that you like you can't walk in the flowers. Yeah. Like, Why would you think that? I don't know. Deadly garden. Deadly. Why do those barrels have eyes? They're robot barrels. They're Donkey Kong's evil minions. Those barrels had personalities and dreams. Wasn't there a, uh... Oh, what was the, the, like, super early video game cartoon? That had, it had multiple segments. And one of them was Donkey Kong, and one of them was Donkey Kong Jr.? Uh, I think, I think you were talking about Captain N. No, it wasn't no. Captain N. It was actually before Captain N. Uh, there was another cartoon that was a Nintendo Properties. 
And it wasn't the Mario Brothers Super Show, it was before that even. It was just a, a variety of, uh... I don't remember what- it had three, like, primary segments. I don't remember what the third one was. Look up a uh, Donkey Kong Jr. cartoon. That, that sure is some animation. Saturday Supercade. That was it. The title character voiced by Frank Welker. That's how I found it. Because I was looking at Frank Welker stuff. I'm like, what the fuck is Saturday Supercade? <sighs> Let's see, what else was there? Saturday Supercade. Produced for Saturday mornings by Ruby Spears Productions. Ran for two seasons on CBS beginning in 1983. That's old. Yeah. Mario Brothers 1 was 1985, I think. Uh, each your characters. Frogger! Donkey Kong with Mario and Pauline. Donkey Kong Jr. Qbert. Yeah. And Pitfall Harry. I remember Pitfall. Yeah. They rotated weekly while the other three were weekly. Pitfall and Qbert oh, rotated yeah. weekly. So then uh, after that, uh Donkey Kong remained while Frogger, DK Jr., and Pitfall were replaced with uh, Space Ace and, and uh, Kangaroo and Friends with the from the Monkey Business Gang uh, or from the Kangaroo Arcade Game. What the fuck is Kangaroo? I don't know. It sounds dated. Yeah. The Space Ace segments from the show occasionally appeared as filler in between shows on Boomerang and Toonami. Citation needed. Huh. <laughs> well, I never saw them. Uh, neither did I. Oh, I can first... detonate them in the air. Oh. Sweet tactic. So, uh... Yeah? I wonder if, I wonder how easy it would be to find them. Oh, the episodes? I don't think... I looked at the Wikipedia article and they were not, like, fully released to home video. Yeah, I looked it up and, uh, I think I looked at the same article and they only released, like, the Qbert stuff and... I guess the other... You gotta keep circulating the tapes for, uh, for the other stuff. Yeah. I'm missing something. There's probably a flower I didn't find or something. Well, check it. Behind those. Oh. This weird mix of fast paced music and slow paced music. Yeah. It's just a lounge track with a rapid drum beat it's, thrown on top of it. Sounds like a fucking Elmon Tobin track. Just. I miss the style of music. Yeah. This is what I figured would be good video game music. In the there show. you are. I'm gonna call you, fucker! Alright, we're done now! Ow! Oh, fuck off! Oh. Don't want to lose to the Egyptian artifacts. <laughs> Shoddy looking at an Egyptian artifact and just crying. Shoddy was like straight up villainous in Season Zero. Yeah, and then... then... We'll meet again, they met again, and he went to the same puzzle. <laughs> Mind puzzle. <laughs> like it never happens. <laughs> oh good, we can't hear them in here. 
Quick, quick! It will be bubble. What? They're going up. Owen Wilson rocking the soundtrack. They just took it and they uh, and they put a fucking they put a filter on it. Pretty expansive soundtrack in this game. Yeah. It's... Compared to is Mario 64 had like 10 tracks, you think? More than that? Yeah. Apparently only 10 tracks are selectable in this version of the sound test. I don't they got I don't know why they decided to do that. In what uh, version? In, in the international version, only 10 tracks are selectable in the sound test menu. As opposed to all the one everyone in the game? Yeah. That's an odd choice. It, I know. Reading that, I'm like. Why? But but why the oh there's a heart up there. Yeah. It's okay, he, he just keeps his distance, he's just scouting. Oh no, I got shot! No really, I got shot! No. Just gotta wait. Oh. Wow. Gotta collect all the bombs. Probably gonna need to activate that. Oh yeah, blow up, that's fine. Blow Turn off your fucking car alarm! It's also, it also kind of turns into the popcorn song for a little bit. Into the what song? Into the popcorn song. I don't hear that. The first time I heard that song uh, was on, I don't know what show it was originally on, there was a dude who played it on like a horn suit, like bicycle horns plastered all over his body. <laughs> Wait, like, uh, was that in, uh, was that fucking America's Got Talent? In or the mid-90s? Was it around then? I Mid oh mid nineties like oh. early late nineties to early two thousands. I think I think it was late two thousands. America's Got Talent was formed after American Idol. Yeah, this was like before YouTube. I saw this. Okay. It was on uh, back in back in damn early early days. I was uh, there was a, I watched a site called stupidvideos.com. Oh yeah. The, you, you before you before YouTube there were a bunch of like crazy video sites. There yeah. was a uh, like the bombs world. Uh uh there there was uh there was killsometime.com, uh yeah. mofos uh come get you some.com. That's where you see that's where you saw the fights. Yeah. Like people just recording fights. God, the frame rate's bad in this one, too. We gotta blow up some kind of tank of water or something. I don't know. Sounds destructive and possibly terroristic. Uh, how long until people think that uh, playing, playing Bomber Man unironically makes you, like, a terrorist? Uh, well, if Jack Thompson had his way, this would have been banned. This is a game about blowing things up. That's violent. Mario's ban. Jumping on Goombas is violent. Sounds like the... Jack Thompson sounds like the only game you want to play is Tetris. Pac-Man is cool, too. 
Except for the power pellets that let you eat the ghosts. I would prefer a game wherein... God. There reminds me of this story this Canadian, uh, like, game shop owner, uh, had, like, where a guy kept in and all he did was, like, rent Tetris. Yeah. And, uh, because he was, like, asking about what kind of games there are, and he says that he, uh, he wanted a game that wasn't violent, and then he tried finding in games that aren't, like, violent. He says too violent. He finally, he chose a race. He's, like, talked about having racing games. Like, no, uh, people might get competitive. That's it's too violent. He's like, but... But, uh... But, so you want a game with no competition. Fuck! That was the end of the level. Apparently. <laughs> I thought it took multiple hits, so I wasn't worried about throwing that. And then, finally, this guy's like, so you can't give me what I want? And then, he guy finds like, well, I mean, the only game that's like that is probably Tetris. And then the kid who's with him is like, Dad, I'm sick of reading Tetris! <laughs> Can we read something else besides Tetris? The dad to Tetris. Yeah. <laughs> Poor kid. Yeah. What about Dr. Mario? Well, you know, viruses have feelings. <laughs> That was the original, like, uh, why they created Pac-Man, is because, uh, so many of the violent, uh, violent, the video games at the time, the arcade games were, uh, sci-fi themed, they were like Asteroid, the Space Invaders, Yeah. and, uh, most involved shooting things, so they wanted a game that, that was, like, not like that, except you're eating ghosts, They so. wanted a game that wasn't, like, the point wasn't to destroy something. And their idea was that they thought that violent games didn't appeal to women. That was their thought. Oh. And so they, they were trying to make something that would not focus on that. You know what would appeal to women, though? Yeah? Just, like, you have a, a main character, right? And he's shirtless. And he's just, the abs are just listening. Yeah? On DOS? Yeah, that's, that's why video games are more appealing, because the graphics got better. You could actually see the, the man hunk you were playing as. Yeah. John Metroid, in the flesh. God. Do you think Robot Chicken did that as a sketch where it's just like... Like, Samus meets Master Chief? I don't think they ever did. John Dor Halo and Jane Metroid Dor meeting. Dorkly might have. God. I think VG Cats did at some point. They made a joke about like Samus and, and Chief getting drunk and sleeping together. <laughs> yeah. Master. Oh, here we go. We got the thing. Now we're fine being underwater. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. We're good. Oh, I remember this. Now you could kill everything. Again. You have to go inside the shark? Well, you can. Great! Sure piece. has a lot of meat inside those bones. Luffy well, better eaten. start going to the butthole! <laughs> yeah, I remember when Luffy got eaten by a giant snake. Unconcerned. He's like, huh? Where am I? This cave came out of nowhere. Wasn't that just a way to, like, remove him from the fight for a while, so they could have a wait for Luffy thing? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, they kind of did that in Naruto as well. So Orochimaru could fight Sasuke uninterrupted. Samus say Red versus Meth. They did the uh, newest death battle, you see. Oh, what's the? Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. Don't. I haven't don't, watched don't it. Don't spoil it. I want. I want to see what the, the, the it is. I haven't watched it. I just saw the thumbnail. Uh. Death. Hello. I've never ever thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> so. 
uh, Aang versus Edward Elric. <laughs> I guess because they both involve the use of elements. Yeah, except under different definitions. I, I'm sure, I'm sure Elric would give up because he would see what Aang was doing and just be like, ah, uh, no. Nothing equivalent about this. Hey, guess, guess what? Uh, Aang would probably win that fight. Yeah. Aang does have, I would say, more supernatural powers. Yeah. Most of the time, Ed just, like, turns his arm into a blade and goes sword fighting. Yeah. I guess. But, you know, no! You know what? Egg's a pacifist. Yeah, also true. I can't... Man, I can't fucking kill you! Oh, uh, we found the butthole. What? Oh, hey, three weeks ago, it was Johnny Cage versus Captain Falcon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just because they're both showy? Yeah! <laughs> show me your moves! Alright, I'll show you my moves. I... I... I think... I think Captain Falcon would win that one. Considering he, he is a... He punch a hole in the galaxy. Space -time. Yeah. And considering Death Battle takes everything into account! Arguably. Bit 10 versus Green Lantern. Thanos versus Dark Side. These fuckers have been busy. I gotta catch up on their shit. Yeah. Ultron versus Sigma. Sigma? The. Oh, he was the a Mega, Mega Man, Man X villain. Roshi versus Jiraiya. Fucking. They've been busy. <laughs> Bomberman versus. Mega uh, Man? Mega Man? Yeah! Bomber I think Mega Man's got more history to draw from. I don't know, Bomberman has a lot of- have a, I think he's got a lot of game, games out. They're all kinda- a lot of them are remakes, though. A lot of Bomberman games are just uh, kinda the same. Yeah, hey, they did put Mega Man vs. Bomberman- Oh, really? As DBX. DBX? Like, the short- the, the- the shorts. No rules, just bloodshed. Watch it now. Uh no. <laughs> but it's just <laughs> Bomberman versus Mega Man. But they did a Bomberman versus Dig Dug seven years ago. Oh, did they? Yeah, seems like it. I remember Robot Chicken did a Dig Dug sketch. Was that Robot Chicken? Yeah. Was that the one where Dig Dug was freaking the fuck out? Uh, it was two realistic miners in a cave trying to rationalize how the fuck the plot of Dig Dug would come about. <laughs> so Dig Dug himself doesn't appear in the sketch. It's just them doing a Tarantino-style, like, uh, discussion about Dig Dug. I mean, the miners are Dig Dug. Oh. Oh, so, okay, so it's what, it's what Robot Chicken is doing. Yeah. All right. That was just two miners talking about Dick Dug. No. <laughs> Which I'm like, that's, that's a... Like, oh my god, there are monsters in this mine, and my only weapon is a bike inflation thing? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta blow them up. I think that was a Flash animation where it was just, uh, Bomberman. Or Dick Dug freaking out about, like all the enemies. Yeah. Sure, I got way more than needed. 8,000? Not- whoa! Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that was close. I remember that one being demanding, because you have to go through the snake, then go out and kill the snake. Yes, through the butthole. Arrgh. Hello again. Hello. Not bad, Bomberman. You made it this far. We doing this shit again? Just glare. To rescue the princess, you have to defeat me. Not like I've never done that before. Uh, uh, no. Well, fight any an ad Any last words before you die? <laughs> See, you, you didn't need that. Just have him pose. <laughs> yeah. That's plenty. Mute hero is a good hero. Like, Mario's mute most for the most part. Let's get ready to move your fingers. 
Oh, now he's got shields. God. You ever see the, those guys who did those that video series, uh, If uh, Game Mechanics Were in Real Life? Uh, no. It was... It was, uh, one of which, uh, was, uh, health in games, and, uh... Are you talking about Immersion? I think it I think that's what it is, Immersion. Yeah, the, the, the Achievement Hunter guys did that. Oh, no! Not Immersion, sorry, not Immersion, that's the Jackass stuff. It, those were, these were sketches. Oh. Uh, there was one where it was, like, a, a live-action sketch, it was... Uh, Modern Warfare 2, uh, the Juggernaut perk, which is a perk which allows you to take more damage, and the guy gets shot, right? And the girl's like, no, stay, we gotta get you to a doctor. He's like, no, don't worry, babe, I got Juggernaut. So he gets up, right? He's just bleeding from all wounds. He's like, and she's like, are, are you sure you don't? No, it's okay, I, I'm Juggernaut. And then, uh, and then he shoots a dude, but he has last stand. Yeah. And, uh, did we just kill him? Yeah. He's dead forever? No, he, he warped up into his thing again. Uh oh. I'm coming, princess. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, you know what, yeah, the text is unnecessary. It conveyed everything just by him looking sad. That's all we oh. needed to know. Princess, no! Oh. Hard coaster. Well, gee, oh. it seems like she got away again! Oh, no. Sit. Drifting Sandland? This, uh... This isn't a good level. No? This isn't a good section of the game, to be frank. This part... Or the entirety of, uh... Act this whole third Tatooine. area, yeah. But this level in particular this, is a pain. This level in particular is... There's a lot of these moving platforms. A lot of collectibles on these multiple moving platforms. Oh, God. And just a huge level area. Don't fall. Yeah, also instant death below us. Maybe, maybe it's not. No, it's not actually. It's not instant death? No, we actually can go on that. On the moving sand? Yeah. It doesn't Whee! damage you at all? What? Just propels, oh, just propels I, you forward. I don't know if that's better or worse. Well, it propels you into, like, oh. the pit. Or you can, uh, these are warp pads. So it's not that unforgiving. This is where I was at. Yes, that was where I needed to go. Ah, drat. And the platform's moving. Well, got the fuck. <laughs> so, how are you? Uh, fine. Uh, I just, uh, I'm, go I'm doing multiple things at once. Uh, I'm, uh, I got the sounds I'm working on, and then I have, uh, and then I need to, after jobs. that's done, Try to start. Uh, I need to. I'm, I need. I'm looking for a better suited job. One that's. And the, my short term goal is to find a job that's more chill, like the more like relaxing and probably with, preferably with better benefits. Yeah. Uh, my long term is to uh, is to as I said learn coding. And then, so yeah, I'm juggling that, and also I need to. I need to clean. I haven't cleaned in a while, and that needs to happen. Hey, we ha we finally have a use for this fucking move. So that's on my end. How are, how are you doing? Uh, I'm just waiting for school to start again. <laughs> doing audiobook stuff. Oh, hey, uh, I have a three-day weekend again next week. Oh, that's right. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Yep. We're tentatively planning Mario Party on Thursday. Yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a good time. Stop. Yeah. Hey, I should remake this in Mario Maker. Uh, slow platforms over desert. No, thank you. So I'll just bomb the desert out of boredom. Yeah, that's what the Americans did. Oh, what? What'd you do? I got what? super arm. Oh! You got... You Eat got... gunpowder, motherfuckers! 
the accuracy of uh, drunken artillery during a hurricane. Yeah, kind of, kind of a blow to the accuracy. Oh, and there's there's MacGuffins. You gotta collect the four thingies. Of course. Yeah. So this stage isn't hard. It's just tedious. I can no longer aim. I throw too good. I'm gonna blow myself up on this. It's fine, you. Well, I, I need, him. need to I kill need to him. Kill him. Yeah. Did they despawn? No. You missed. Oh God, this. This, this seems like the biggest time sink in the entire, uh... In the entire fucking game. It's just, it's just here. Just waiting for platforms to fucking move already! Oh, it's all uphill from here. Or is it? What the... Can I turn it off, please? Oh good, I got him. have to collect it, too. Remember that one dude who, uh... Ah, oh, dang it. You almost got it. Oh, you despawned. What one dude? There's that, that guy who did Metroid Other M. And he was, like, the guy who originally created the series, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, and he didn't get why Metroid was so popular. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that'll always be, like, uh, like a high spot where, like, all the American people were, were proven to be correct in how a Metroid should have been done. Yeah. You know, I never really wanted to make it this platforming game. I just had to because that was what was in at the time. Oh, hey, you disabled it. Oh, good. I, I guess. I'm gonna blow up the- Yep! Alright, back to the beginning. Did I- did I mention that, that this game is probably unnecessarily hard at times? Yeah. This is what I'm- Is it raining outside? No. Actually, quite nice. It's slightly warm. female characters besides Million. Right, does Bomberman ever get a love interest? Does he need one? Probably not. Pink Bomberman. Bomber Woman. Can love boom on the battlefield? <laughs> seem to agree on a design. For Bomberman? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, he does change in proportion slightly over the course of the games, in the same way Sonic did, but... Like, how dramatically different is it? Uh... I guess it depends on the artist. Like, like, uh... There are some that keep the, like, the proportions the same, and there are some that just kind of exaggerate the head but it's like not a totally different design uh i guess the, i guess uh, my my point is they can't seem to agree on portions well that's all rule 34 artists yeah 
Rule 34 has their way. All women are K-cups. What's the point? Like, at, at a certain point, there's there's more, like, tit flesh than, than, uh, than body. And that, that, well, that's very detrimental to, like, uh... Attractiveness? Well, I was gonna say, it's unhealthy. That like, too, yeah. There's not enough blood to go around. A person's heart rate is just gonna massively lower. What the f- <laughs> Wait, what? That's supposed to be who? What? Okay, so it's a random fuck picture of, uh, of Bomberman and Paz Ortega Andrade from Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Oh, oh cause is she like a demolitions expert? I know why that- <laughs> She- she got killed by a bomb. Oh. Like, cause they took a- I They should. took a bomb, and, uh, and so the, the main villain of that game Decided the best way to to get those uh, those damned uh, military Sans Frontiers guys was uh, was to take uh, the, the girl and uh, put her in a rescue and put two bombs in her and he, he was gonna take he just remove her uh, her reproductive organs in order to fit the fucking second bomb in. Yeah. They didn't look for it and she jumped off the, like the the helicopter to avoid killing them and she exploded and then. And but that knocked the helicopter in tailspin anyway. Okay. Yeah. And which Metal Gear is this? <laughs> uh, I, as I said, it was uh, it was the Metal Gear Solid Five was, was where this went down. But she was introduced in Peace Walker. Yeah. Which was like a side game. Uh, it was it was a mainline game. It. it it was just was it two. Uh, was it three? It was Peace Walker. It was considered a mainline game despite not being being a numbered game. Uh, and then Metal Gear Solid Five: Phantom Pain is its own separate game that happened to have the bomb scene. Uh. God damn it. So. So anyway, <laughs> there's that. This would be real handy on this level. Oh. Wait, how? There's only one picture of, uh, of, of Princess Million. Not surprising. Yeah, the obscure fucking character? Not, not getting enough pit, not getting any pictures? No! Perish the thought! Well, if it exists, there's porn of it, Jack. Yeah, they got the one picture. Yeah. That's all they need. Not surprisingly, it's a, it's the scene uh, that we just encountered with the her chain being up. all chain. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. I thought that's what that uh, pause picture was, but no, it was. That's really really fucked up, Jack. H Hello, Charles. What, oh, hey, Charles. What part was fucked up? When did you walk in? You talking? You talking about the the Metal Gear Solid Five stuff? Yeah, I agree. That was the point of the game. I have a feeling that, that Metal Gear Solid V was made during... It, it doesn't surprise me that that was made during the, the later years of Konami. Like, uh, Hideo's, uh, like, going on with Konami because, uh, it's a very... Yeah! No, I'm not making that up! That actually happened! Link, link to the image in Discord? Yeah, sure. Give me a moment. Put it in after dark. They installed Miss Clinton with a snook. Yeah, it was basically a snook. This was what it was that, but you know what? I, 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 I... The, the, the funny part is that that uh, that episode was making fun of Twenty Four, right? Yeah. And uh, and they got the, the the voice actor for the voice actor they changed to Snake was the main character for Twenty Four. Yeah. So you know, it's just Keeper just... Sutherland. Yeah, they got Keeper Sutherland to play Snake. For for no for no for no reason. I remember the fans were not happy about no. that. Yeah, that's why I said for no reason. Oh, but he he'll sell, unlike David Hayter. There was no reason for it. Like I gotta I gotta find that. 
why her uterus? Why does it really matter? I, I, I like, mean, if, she's, if she's designated to blow up, to die, every part of her is going to be gone. Why does it matter her, where they put Okay, the so they need her to be alive well, just long enough for the bomb to trigger, right? Right. So... Something that's not long-term so, vital, then. Yeah. Or short-term short -term vital. vital. Yeah, that's, that's what you're looking for. Uh... I'm having so much. Alright, so on that. Thank God there's not time limits on these levels. That would suck. Maybe it's a certain number of bombs get super thrown. Maybe that's what it is. Oh. Maybe. You gotta spam them. That's time limit? I can't actually chain the explosions back to myself doing this and eventually hit myself. Right. Oh, here they come! There it is. Alright. Dark Knight, they didn't chop off the dick of the guy they put a bomb in. <laughs> yeah, you're right, they didn't! Well, they didn't need to. Alright, oh, Discord updated. go, Charles. I ship Bomberman with Yamcha. Trust me, I have some pretty dark fantasies, and this is too far even for me. It's not a fantasy, though! It's what a villain did in order to, to get heal points. That... I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not... I don't think it was sexual in nature. It wasn't sexual in nature. That... That was before in the... That was actually the least worst part that villain did. He... What hellscape is this nightmarish? Talking about Metal Gear Solid 5? Yeah, Metal Gear Man. Oh. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> you, you've walked in on the worst level of Bomberman Hero. <laughs> the rest of the game was pretty. Yeah, that's a fuck. Yeah, Skullface is fucked up. Unlike Red Death, who's very very pleasant. Yeah, he's very... Right, so Skullface couldn't, uh... He couldn't tone it down. He's not doing villain stuff. God damn it. Didn't need to be your... It didn't know! Well, what else would it have been? Her stomach? She wouldn't have... That would have been more noticeable, I think. He didn't need to put a bomb in her anyway. He just... Didn't he wanted... He? I mean, I mean if he was going to put a bomb in her, where else would he put it? He put two bombs in her! He managed to make room for two of them! Yeah. Is, is what... It looks like Sonic 06. Well, I guess that's a compliment to this game, considering it's on the Nintendo 64. Cool, uh... I'm seeing the, the backdrop not fully render on the left there. Yeah. The skybox. They don't need to replace any. Not to be, I, I, you know, when you really want to be sure, you put a big enough bo block of C4 in there. I'm not, Charles. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm, I'm saying I agree with you perfectly. All right, 6,500. Kidney, spleen, liver. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, you know, people live without their livers. 
Spleen? You wouldn't live long without your spleen! A kidney, yeah, a kidney would, would be better. What, did they remove the uterus, or did they just, like, put it in there? I... In the uterus, inside the uterus? Yeah. They just shoved... Oh, yeah. that would be terror. I'll, I'll look it up again. I, there's room. If I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is, I better make sure I'm doing the right... I'm doing it right. Uh, Ooh! <laughs> welcome to a bit, welcome to a narrow bottomless pit level. Paz Ortega Andrade, also known as Pacifica Ocean. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't. I think that was her handle. Slugs are the bomb amuses. Jack is now looking at Metal Gear stuff. <laughs> I, I Where did they where did they put the bomb though? What's in the box? I think, I think, uh, Paz was, uh, hold on, who voiced her? No, oh, stop. I now have salt bombs. Uh, in the design, okay. Voiced by Tara Strong! Mm. And, uh, she also did motion capture for the Phantom Pain. That's something... Terra Strong doesn't usually do. Yeah. She really went all out for this character. Uh, I'm not arguing. I'm just saying they didn't have to. I know! Like, that's culturally worse than any other organ. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't actually yes. think about it like that. That's basically like Castor. Yeah. Alright. The, the quote is that they planted her with two bombs, one in her abdomen, and another in a place they never look, quote unquote. Yeah. I... Uh... Er... Ah. S sifting, sifting. Yeah, I'm done. You know what? The Ground Zeroes was unnecessarily dark. Phantom Pain is much lighter by comparison. So I have bomb immune slugs. And salt bombs to throw at them. Shit like that is why I need a safe word. Yeah, BDSM. Yeah, I gotta be safe, sane, and consensual. You don't... That's why you don't use real bombs in your bomb fantasies. As, I, 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 well, fuck, how bad's Croc gonna be? <laughs> Croc, we're just gonna talk about, like, uh... We're, we're just... Are, is Croc gonna be the streamer we're gonna talk about, like, the fuck, like, fucking ice or something? Ice? I-C-E, the fucking, uh, yeah. immigration, customs, and, uh, I guess execution now. 
Okay, this next Super Mario, like, when we play Galaxy again, we're just gonna be talking about the hellscape that is American capitalism. Constantine. <laughs> I. Constantine is a safe word, you'd fucking forget. Alright, we had Hard Coaster. Now it's Mad Coaster. I think Family Guy did a bit where they were talking about how crazy kids. We, they didn't want to expose them, like, to, to degenerate sex. And meanwhile, as they were talking about it, Lois and Peter were just slowly gearing up in, like, BDSM costumes. And then the scene ends with Lois going, The safe word is banana! I, I remember that. I don't yeah. remember the context of the episode. I think that might have been, like, the, the ear sex episode. Yeah, the ear sex episode. You guys are doing it! In the, the ear. ear! Well, because they gotta be abstinent. Ear sex is an actual sex. Always wear your purity ring, kids. Oh, please be political. <laughs> uh, oh, that wasn't the way to go. My politics uh, basically boils down, right now boils down to fuck Trump and fuck anybody like Trump, uh, fuck anybody that supports Trump. From a pure political perspective. Is it a political perspective or a personal perspective? Uh... Like, it's nothing to do with his policies. It has to do with the, he's a racist asshole. Yeah, he, well, his policies aren't good either. He just, but ultimately, his, he's just... My safe word needs to not sound like any kind of mumbling, gagging, or generic screaming. Constant team seems like a... Hmm. Research on the ideal safe word. Uh, I think that Jackass did a sketch where, uh... Uh, where the guy was, like, being subjected to a bunch of, like, uh... Non-explicit, non-penetrative, like, uh... Like kinky stuff, and the safe word was Alabama. Yeah. And the segment was called Alabama. I never really saw the Jackass show. Was uh, it on like Comedy Central? Yeah, MTV. MTV. That was it. Why was it on MTV? I I don't know. I saw the movies when they were on Comedy Central later, but. Uh... I think they did air the ser air the series on Comedy Central oh, in like fuck. late they, late night. How do they get away with uh, with airing the movie? Has a guy like like eating a soap cone made out of his own piss? I'm, I'm sure it was like censored to some degree or something. I don't know. It's Comedy Central. They got away with the roast of Bob Saget. Oh yeah. Which I is know. the only thing as a child that uh, my father made us, like, stop watching partway. This is, this is too much? Yeah. I watched Which the didn't even matter, because we went home, and then, like, a week later, I caught the rerun. <laughs> you went home? Wait, you saw it live? Well, we were at, uh, we were, like, on a uh, vacation at the time. Oh. So it was in, like, a hotel room. Can you imagine my grandmother watching that? <laughs> oh dear! I, I don't like this. Let's watch something else. Yeah, she would have been too polite to call it trash, but yeah. she would have just been like, she watches fucking Jerry Springer. <laughs> well, that other daytime TV. Well, that that's that's a fun kind of trashy. Uh, she used to watch pro wrestling. <laughs> Attitude. I wonder if you. Oh man, I, I should have asked her if she watched WWF or WCW. Yeah. It was a while ago. She stopped watching that. I know. I like. I like to think she was a WCW fan. Yeah. She stopped. Maybe it was WWE, and it just got too shitty for her. Ice bomb. Salt bomb. Is that really salt bomb? Yep. For all the Smash players. Bomberman is. My Bomberman is my favorite member of Alex. Oh, we were making jokes like that the entire first stream of, like, wait, we got a hero who uses bombs, a traditionally very non-heroic method of combat. Yeah. 
Bombs and poison are like the the denoted scumbag villain method of fighting. Yeah, yeah. The main villain in fucking uh, Diamond is Unbreakable was a bomber. Yeah. The, we, the main yes. villains in fucking Hunter Hunter are bombers right now. Like sneaky style, man. I've never heard of a hero bomber, except maybe uh, the the main character, like Desert Punk. I don't know if he used bombs. He used traps. Being sneaky. The IRA would disagree. Well, some people will call the IRA terrorists. Are they the, the Rifle Association, I, I, not the Bomb Association? The uh, Irish Republican Army. Oh. It's like some people really didn't like the fact that uh, Ireland was a, was a member. So as you might expect, salt has no effect on non-slugs. Darn. So would the Welsh terrorists who would blow up those dams. Wait, why dams? You, you're gonna flood the country? That's dumb. Apparently, like, one, the dude who wrote Punisher, like Punisher Max, yeah. uh, he got, like, really pissed off at the uh, IRA. And he, like, did a big, like, thing. Yeah, you need to come back. Yep. So you need to get the salt and then say you need to get no, the I salt last. Yeah, you can get regular bombs back with a. Oh, this is the wrong level. With a regular bomb pickup, but there weren't any on that level. So yep, slugs are very last. Yeah, you're right in that this this state this so uh, section of the world is very uh, boring. It's because it's the whole theme is these moving platforms is the problem. Yeah, having to stand and wait is not a is not a good mechanic. It's right, not, it's uh, not very engaging. Blocks are not well loved in Mario. Yet yeah, they added it as an option. Yeah. Snake blocks, auto scrollers, not being able to go at your own pace. You gotta go on their pace, which almost always means like waiting. Long periods of time, and I'm if you die, get back to waiting all over again. Time sink. I you can bring the chat up on your phone. Oh yeah, you're right. You see it. Why am I? Why wasn't I doing that this entire time? Oh, well, I gotta, I gotta turn off uh, my audio now. It's a whole process. Which almost done with uh, Monster Girl Quest highlights again, by the way. Oh, got another batch coming out in the next couple days. That'll be sweet. By the way, regular bombs don't affect slugs. No. Why is that? Is somehow unique. Somehow they they've adapted to be bomb immune. Oh, uh, Joel's streaming uh, Super Mario Maker 2 right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. I I do subscribe to him. I should subscribe again while he's doing Mario Maker. Subscribe again? You us subscribe to him? Ah, uh, yeah. I got tired of seeing the notifications because I don't. Re I I watch his his vods on YouTube, but I don't really care if a streamer's going live unless it's uh, like an interactive game, like Mario Maker. Ah, uh, I forgot the whole story. But the UK Parliament voted voted to build a bunch of dams in Wales. Oh, so they were building some dams in Wales. And well, what guy, did the whales think about this? Uh, uh so at least one person. <laughs> oh. Uh, look it up. How did I got that? How did I, I blew up the platform I needed to get that, didn't I? Uh, did, did you? Uh oh. I uh, can you still? No, you can't. Maybe I can cheese it with this platform. Yeah. Seems like it. It's gonna be my only hope. Oh, you can totally make that jump. What? I'm gonna clear the whole platform first. He... Yeah, I was just what? saying he didn't get hit by that. He got hit by it, but he didn't get hit by it. Oh, fuck. It's fine. You can just do do it again. I'm 
gonna have to anyway after going back for the uh, salt. The salt and the uh, salt and the one diamond of the. It didn't get hit. Yep. All right. It blew up in front of him. This guy, and then get the salt. Yeah. Ah! You fu- I did, <laughs> did you? Why'd you jump on it? So I could get it more reliably. Well, do you instantly- I, I, I couldn't break fast enough. <laughs> well, we're doing this all over again. find the optimal route this time. The speedrun practice for our, uh, our first ever, like, 100% Bomberman speedrun. We need the Japanese version, because that's yeah. easier. Oh, but that would make the international version more impressive. Well, how about we, how about we leave it up to a vote? We just get good at both versions of the game. And the the per people can like get vote. They donate it as incentives to like do one or the other. Get good at, at both versions. We just need to get good at the international. Then we're by extension good at the Japanese. <laughs> one. Uh oh. Don't want to do that. That'd be bad. At least we got some sweet lounge music. That girl who wanted to. I can't follow my dreams, so I'll become a shrine maiden. Oh, there is a bomb uh, power up on this level. Yeah, the one. It's fine. Um, I'm just waiting for the day. Bomberman finally takes off his helmet. And everyone realizes he is Grill. He's a Grill. Samus was Metroid was a lady all along. Oh, I thought you said that he was like an electrical, like some cooking appliance. Or it could be that too. He could be a girl Grill. I'm a Grill. I did it. Why are slugs immune to bombs? They're bomb I, slugs. I don't understand. Slug. You think that if you blow up uh, like a building, the slugs wouldn't just be the only ones remaining? They're tough slugs. Metal slugs. Metal slug. Mission all over. Meanwhile, you got these Lego bots here. That's a two-player game we could just we could just blitz through. It's just metal slug. Oh, it's a two-player. Yeah, two people. Wasn't it Contra-esque? Yeah, it's basically Contra, but with like but with like impressive art. Miss, miss. I was jumping on the platform so that wouldn't happen. Just... Now 
shall we wait? Oh, he's a tiger. I am a robot. Some androids are built with infinite energy. This one is built with infinite bombs. <laughs> My generator is going kaput. Oh, somebody... Yeah? Oh. What? Oh, it's, it's talking about the Welsh dude who, uh, who blew up those dams. God, have you heard, have you seen the Welsh language? No. It's fucking words, it's fucking letter salad. Yeah. It's, it's the weirdest, very, like... Very few, uh, vowels. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the Moidaid Amdifian Shimiru. Shomaru. That's just shit. Oh god, Welsh pronunciation is so weird. Abbreviated as <laughs> Mac. Alive. God dang it. You're sputtering every every, every time you it's So they were pissed off that the dams were flooding their land, so they're just gonna their response was to blow up the dams. Yeah. The transformer at the dam construction site was blown up by three men. Yeah. Ah, uh, we wait. So they were uh, they were Welsh terrorists. Fascinating. See an example of uh, were they terrorists? Is it bombers. I and mean, terrorists aren't necessarily the same thing. I know they're. I, it's not I guess like trying to instill fear to get well, what you want. Well, they were trying to stop the dams from being built, so yeah. I guess it counts. Yep, just wait. Don't jump on the platform this time. I tried it the last two times and not hit him. Well, you s don't. You Need to aim Look better. at that fucker, just staring. So smug. There, you got him! Now watch me Now die. don't hit a fucking slug! I wonder if I can hurt myself with these bombs. Don't make the attempt. <laughs> Fuck. You have me so nervous. I'm going slow. Oh, I hit it. I hit one. Hit you, you did. Now. Oh, it isn't there? There's another side. So there's two slugs left. Oh. <laughs> Now it's just a pleasant coaster ride away. Alright. The coaster's going that way. Alright, we got time for donations. Alright, we got one donation to for from uh, Get Good at Bomberman. Scru uh, it comes back, right? Yeah. It just moves back and forth continuously forever. They... Up. Twitch. Where'd Twitch go? Ah, uh, it's not updating the chat room for for some reason. On Twitch? Yeah. You try re like refreshing or anything? Well, maybe Charles just hasn't posted anything since. No, he did. He posted some new stuff. They never killed. Anyone except their own members by an accidental premature uh, detonation. Oh, so so they're bombers with a zero casualty rate. Every re Welsh representative voted against it and went ahead anyway. Wow. 
So, everybody said no, but they're like, fuck you, and they were surprised that a bunch of people decided to make bombs and blow that shit up. Everybody who was Welsh said no. Everybody who was Welsh said no. Everyone else at the convention uh, apparently said yes. So the people who actually lived there, they 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 didn't they have a say. They against it. Jeez, who... who they might as well not have had a say, because they all said no, and they were like, no, fuck you, we're doing it anyway. Move stone. Hmm. I wonder what I'm going to do in this level. Move stone. Move stone, a.k.a. warp crystals. The British Parliament. Yeah! I feel like this part of the track could play it at, uh, Samurai Champloo. Not this part. Yeah. Once it gets I Egyptian, mean, it's done. Maybe maybe this part as well. The Samurai Shampoo guys could be fighting aliens. Yeah. Like, what are these things? Are you guys Oni and they're just some greys who are just looking with ray guns, right? We wouldn't know any alien Oni. Why why are why are Oni supposed to be aliens now? Because it can't be supernatural. That'd be just well, silly. It's just in that one series in Urusei. But there were ghosts in, in that ser series. Yeah. Kotatsu cat. There were also uh, there were also like mythological Oni at a later point in the series. So mythological Oni and alien Oni. They're just different races. It's like if Yu Hakusho Yokai fought the space Yokai from Sailor Moon. Yeah. Uh, we need four stones? But they're, they're not that many. Yeah, there are. There was that stone you had. Oh. Yeah, you're right. No, the fourth one's up there. You just need to jump to it, I, I guess. I guess it doesn't need to be in any particular hole between these two. No? No. Rejected. Wrong one. It's actually that one. Oh, the dam created a reservoir that flooded a cemetery. That's not a good look. And a historic church. Oh, God. Fuck that. As well as dozens of ho houses. It bare It barely lasted thirty years Home before it working. Nope, every time I minimize it it just disconnects from chat. Oh, Hey, guess what? Rocket League's got a Knight Rider, uh, uh, pack. Yeah? You can get Drive Kit. I'm glad Rocket League's still doing well. Not so glad that, uh, that it may become Epic exclusive. Oh, on the, what, Epic Store yeah. or Epic Engine or whatever the they The store do. which has no fucking allies. Yeah. It has to pay... To like keep people exclude, you know the WWE method. Yeah. Well, if I'm not playing it now, I definitely won't play it then. I did it. Just gonna remove it from the Steam store. Like, good luck with that shit. Versus Bowl Ban. Some kind of Ratchet and Clank alien statue. Yeah. What the? Oh. Gee, I wonder what's gonna happen to her. What? Bomberman? Here? I'm blind, you see. Do you want to suffer that robot's fi- Oh, you turned him to stone?! Uh. Huh? <laughs> he has, like he's gonna he has punch a surprise him. face, they just didn't use it. <laughs> oh, okay. There's magic. Magic! Good old sciency magic. Look how waiting he is. We fight an attic! By the way, what the- we fight an attic? Really? No. Oh. By the way- Oh! Wait, is it your- Is it your birthday today, Charles?
Ah, happy, oh, birth happy birthday. <laughs> She's frowning. Just oh, well, I, I guess me. I have to wait here. Well, it's basically attic. Yeah. All right. What? Oh, he's got a shield. What is your birthday wish, Charles? It's Bullband's ass. You got giant monsters. The weak point is always the forehead and the tail. Always. Check out Goblin Commander. Yeah, I've been here. I've been hearing a lot about that recently. What is Goblin Commander? There you go. You got him. Is that like? Is that you follow goblins around as they try to survive? Heroes trying to kill them. It's the tail thing. No. Yes. Are you dead yet? No. Uh, I am. I think it's an RTS. Oh, I like those. Command and Conquer. Oh, they have iframes at the start. I think you just... It's just a sphinx with cannons. Yeah. Riddle of the Sphinx. The riddle is you're gonna fucking die. Here's a riddle, are you gonna die? Here's the answer, yes. A bit metal, the aesthetic. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. The game's over. <laughs> Means nothing. I got an idea. Yeah? Uh, never mind. Okay. I, I was... It's maybe you should, like, I, I, I don't know, like, not suicide jump into the... It space. makes the bombs way more accurate. Uh, it's, it's the reliable way to hit. Because you can't, remember this is a platformer, you can't face a direction without also moving in that direction. I don't, I don't have dual stick Bomberman. Yeah, twin stick Bomberman. Bomber sticks. Just gonna bucket. Feel like I'm not getting the score this time. Thank you, bastard. Man. There you got him. That's probably 000. 65 or 7, maybe. 7. 7? That's a bit strict. Do you want to try? One of the. <laughs> you really think I do better at this than you? Well, you seem to be getting mad at me playing. I'm not mad. What are you talking about? I'm just like. I was reluctant to say it because I'm sure it, that there was a reason why you were doing it. It's just that every time you were doing it, you were getting hurt, and I'm like. Thank you, bomber man. It's risk and reward. You gotta take the risk to get the reward. To my zone star, dude. Where's Not my yet. zone? My, where's my zone? The uh, Wind Waker stream got uploaded and it was all like pixely and gross looking. Oh, was it? So I checked the video and the video is fine. So YouTube fucked it up. Do we need to reload it? I did re-upload it and I think it looks better. I'm gonna have to like triple double check it. All right. Oh, that's right, we got bonus stages. Why? I don't know. Literally, well, I mean, you get power-ups, but... Not like they carry over. So I want to get the good, the good score on uh, Bull Band, and then we'll call it. Alright. Sounds good. Alright. Today was a good day. I learned about uh, Welsh bombers, and yeah. uh, it's fine. Whatever. It's a bonus stage. It doesn't fucking matter. A zone, and then yeah, five planets. So we probably got one two stream. streams of this left. Probably one. 
Depends uh, on how hard the final levels are. This, 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 uh, you're, you're telling that Area 3 was kind of, uh, kind of an outlier. Alright. Your lack of, your lack of, like, uh, explosion range is probably, it it's is. probably it not makes helping. this harder. I think you go to a level and top, top it off. But yeah, because you keep your you keep your bomb and fire stats. All right, drop your shield. The iframes eat up most of the time. Yeah. I think they added them to uh, ah. the international version. The magic. Yeah, I don't think you're going to make it. No. Fuck. Uh, the timing is so strict. I was very close. This is basically a goblin riding a vile, bloated Yoshi. Oh, Croc. A, co a warthog with a catapult strapped to its back. The shittiest fucking artillery. Yeah, that sounds like a goblin game. I'm down. No, we're going back. I gotta fuck this guy up some more. He hasn't learned his lesson. Give me the goods. Surrender the princess. I won't kill you. I wonder how Bomberman and Desert Punk would get along. Uh... We never watched more than one episode We of watched, like, three episodes of Desert Punk. Did we? Yeah. I thought we only saw one. We saw the first one where, where we were introduced to the world of Desert Punk, which is basically uh, a wackier uh, Fist of the North Star. Yeah. And then we watched another episode where he was dealing with some... Some other thing, and he lost all his equipment in uh, episode three. And we were kind of done with it at that point. Yeah, like and then what's the point? He looked cool. He was also voiced by uh, by uh, Teen Trunks. You're not gonna make it. Jeez, that is the strictest fucking like timing. The tail is harder to hit. Oh, is that just instant death? No, I, I am freeze. You have to hit it so dead on. I see. I feel like there are some level of iframes at the very start. You have to wait for just the right amount you, of time. You you, you over you, you overshot it that one time though. I don't think I did. I think you did. You got. You should just go and grab some more supplies, some more power-ups. Eh. That'll take longer than this will. Plus, it's only one shot. I die once, and then they're gone, and I have to go back all over again. I mean, you can keep them if you, uh... Yeah? If you uh, just finish them off the boss despite it falling under a certain amount. Also, him backing into a corner doesn't help your, your like, situation. God damn it! Why you gotta hit it so precise?! Such bullshit! Be nice if the bosses just gave you the same bomb upgrades automatically or something, so it was, every time was consistent.
Okay, you're probably right about the iframes. The iframes are unnecessary, like for the for a boss. I mean, I, get, I don't understand I... the point of even with the enemies. I don't understand the point. That makes rapid fire like bombing useless. I get the idea that they don't want you to get just a free hit at the start of the fight, but you do anyway. You just have to wait a little longer and time it. And that just goes through the tail sometimes. Jeez, that is just... It's like you gotta turn the tail and then... It's shitty aiming coupled with, like, a shitty design coupled with no power-ups. It's not shitty aiming at all, it's just the, the geometry of him is off. Like, it should blow up if it hits his geometry whether it hits the, the jewel or not. This battle is, is design it seems to be designed to be as frustrating as possible. No, it's, we're just trying to get, like, a hard time, which is supposed to be hard. We're going for a perfect score. One of the grunt units is a big-ass chainsaw. I'm sold. Somehow none of that hit me. Feels like he just tanks the first hit sometimes. Give it to me. Okay. Over to Jack. Wander up the ledge twice! I was trying to get enough distance so that I could get a good throwing angle on him. After he walks enough that he's vulnerable. Because he's, like, not vulnerable for a couple steps off the start. Jesus fucking Christ! Why?! Oh, you can hold it, actually. The bomb? Yeah. Yeah. Does that help for you? Seems like it could. Are you gonna come out of your fucking hidey hole? No, no? Ah. Yeah, they're... Okay, fine, you've proven your fucking point. Here you go. Yeah. You can get that, just get, just absorb that smug satisfaction. You've earned it. Okay, I take it back! He wasn't throwing the bombs. Now he's not throwing the bombs. I don't know what's wrong. Almost had it. One of the 
of the units is literally just a giant spiked ball with a bomb in it. I ran off because I, I missed too much. The game's over. I go around to his head and he stops fucking. Charles. You gonna you gonna get some power ups now? We, we can if you want to. It'll again only be worth one attempt. And you, you want to go somewhere? I don't know where to go. I I don't know where all the I don't I haven't memorized the power ups. Yet. Neither have I. I'm just I'm just like it, it's at a certain point you're just smacking your head against a brick wall over no, and works. over. It's not breaking. It'll break eventually. Get that, leave the level, come back, and then and then just do that until you hit max. Think they carry that way? Yeah. They do not carry that way. Fuck off! Game! Fine. I guess we're not doing it that way. I guess just get it, rush to the end, and then... level seems, seems pretty short, so... A lot of 
my heart's about. Yeah, I wonder why. I guess it's just those two. Going back to a level, to a world one stage and doing that probably, it probably won't go beyond- Oh, what? Wait, why are you- But that was only- I don't know. I guess because we haven't completed it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any on this one? Yep, there's one over there. There's a fire. Miss. Oh, there you go. Oh, I need to, I need to destroy the things in order to go through the exit. Three fire. I, I'm gonna say that's enough. Also, you can throw two bombs at once. Maybe, uh... Play, that was the best you played, so that was probably that combination of that and the power ups. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Finally, we're. We kicked Bull now, Bam's now get, ass. Now we go to Hoth next step, next time. With, like, jungles and ice and things. Wait, there are jungles in this ice world? What I the guess fuck? so. That, that's the nice part. That's the green part. Are they terraforming it? Sure. Is it like Lost Planet 2? Jungles and mountains and things. And our wacky Yoshi companion. We get a Yoshi? We get a Yoshi? There, there may or may not be a Yoshi in this game. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Well, that's it for today. Alright. Thanks for hanging out. Thank Those of you guys who were here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.